What's good, y'all? What is good? We jumping right into it, man. What are you willing to sacrifice? For real, like, what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want out of your life? To achieve the goals that you want to achieve, what are you willing to sacrifice? Because you're going to have to sacrifice something to get to where you are trying to go in your life. All right, nothing that has ever come to you in life that you've wanted has ever just dropped in your hands. You always have to give something up. Even if you didn't know subconsciously, you, you've given something up to get something that you wanted. All right, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Maybe one out of every 100 times you might, that God might drop a little blessing in your hand like, yeah, but what are you willing to give up? Seriously, like, what are you willing to give up? Because a lot of us, man, I just be seeing people complaining about they wish they were in this predicament, they wish they were in this predicament. A lot of people, which I see a lot, is people complaining that, you know, they're living check to check or they're not making as much money as they could or they're just not living the life that they know they deserve. And I'm not here to say that you don't deserve the life that you want. It's just what are you going to sacrifice and what work are you going to put in to get that life? Because you're going to have to sacrifice something. If y'all are new to the channel, if y'all don't know my story, I moved to Arizona almost five years ago, okay? From Boston, Massachusetts, Haverhill, Mass, to be exact. Shout out to the home team, man. But when I graduated college in June of 2019, I really knew in my head I didn't want to stay in my hometown. I knew I was not going to be here, not going to be there longer than a year, but as time went on, I went home for about a week, man. I was like, no, I can't do this. I cannot do this. I'm not about to do this. What am I going to do to get to where I'm trying to go? Luckily, a friend, mentor, shout out to my boy Josh, put Arizona in my head and kind of gave me that idea like, oh, maybe I should move out here because he was out there and a couple people from my hometown were already out there. I was like, you know what? I'm moving to Arizona. But I had to sacrifice something to do that. When I tell y'all I had to work, I was working as a as a server and as a, a, a like a food runner host at this restaurant. I was doing it all and I was working a second job at Famous Footwear. I was working seven days a week, seven days a week for three months, three, four months straight. I moved to Arizona. I gave myself a goal. I said, Labor Day weekend, mind you, it's June. I said, Labor Day weekend, I'm gone. I'm moving to Arizona. I made that mark, boom. What was I gonna do to get to that point? I had to sacrifice a lot. I did not spend money on things that I didn't need. I put all my money away. I gave my money to my parents. Any checks I got, put them away. Any tips I got, put them away. The only money I used was to eat and gas. That was it. Didn't buy no clothes, didn't go out partying, didn't do nothing. I sacrificed four months, working seven days a week for four months straight to move to Arizona and that changed my life because I'm here at this point. I had to sacrifice a lot. Even right now when I got to Arizona, I had to sacrifice not being near my family and friends, being all the way on the other side of the country, starting a life at 23 years old, not knowing what I know now, what it takes to really, you know, get up and get after what you want. I had to sacrifice all that. And to this day, I look back, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's just stuff you got to give up to get to where you're trying to go. Like I wouldn't have the life I have now if I still stayed back home in Massachusetts. I wouldn't have grown as a man. I wouldn't have been in the career field that I've been in. I would have even went through the adversity that I went through, I don't think, because I would have never, I don't think I would have ever gave my life to Christ. I'm being so serious with y'all. You have to sacrifice in life to get what you want. Me this year, I know I want to lock in. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give up alcohol. I'm going to give up the party and I'm going to give up the women. I'm going to give up these things because I need to focus. And you have to sacrifice things. You can't do it all. Don't be listening to these people saying you got to maximize in all areas of your life. Yeah, you got to maximize in all areas of your life that are going to get you to the next step that you're trying to go to. But if you're only caring about getting with girls and drinking and partying and just sitting around waiting for your goals to just come to you, man, you're never going to get there. You really got to lock in and you really got to sacrifice. It's all about sacrifice. But what are you willing to sacrifice? What is it right now that you know deep down you need to sacrifice? Even if it's for a year. It may not even have to be a year. It may be longer than a year. It may be a few months. It may be a few weeks. You know, maybe you're trying to get fit in the gym. But, you know, you still be eating terrible. You be going out eating fast food every day. What are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? 
Maybe you got to stop eating fast food altogether. Maybe you cut it down to two days a week instead of seven days a week. Like, what are you willing to sacrifice? Anything that you want in this life, you got to sacrifice for. You got to sacrifice something. All right, you got to kill that ego just in life too. Like God said, we really got to kill our old selves to be reborn again. That's the sacrifice you got to make. And I think at this point in my life, and if you're watching this, if you're watching this, like you got to sacrifice something to get to where you want to go. You see people who, you know, are at the top of, you know, where they wanted to be. And we all just think they got to hand it to them, not knowing what they had to go through, what they had to sacrifice to get there, man. You see these athletes, see these actors, you see these musicians, like they had to sacrifice something. They had to take risks. They had to do something that was outside of their comfort zone just to grow. And that's what I've touched on my last video man we got to get outside our comfort zone man we really got to take risks we really got to sacrifice something to get what we want it's just the way it is man it sucks too because it, it, if you're not ready for it it's going to take a toll on your mental but if you're strong enough and you know what the end goal is i'm telling you you can live a very beautiful life when i look back and i reflect on these five years and what I've gone through, what I've had to sacrifice, all the family events that I've missed, all the birthdays that I've missed, the Mother's Days, the Father's Days, you know, my sister's birthday, and all that stuff, friends event, all the stuff that I have missed. Do I regret it? No, because I had to sacrifice. And people understand. Not everyone's going to understand, though. Not everyone's going to understand that. Yeah, I can't do this this weekend. No, I can't chill with y'all right now. I got to lock in. Y'all really got to sacrifice Man, you really got to sacrifice. Even giving your life to Christ, that's a huge, that's a huge, I'm not even going to say it's a sacrifice, but, you know, once you once you give your life to Christ, let's say you get baptized, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to be battling spiritual warfare. Because as soon as you give your life to Christ, that's when the real work begins. I'm telling y'all, that's when the real work begins. If you haven't given your life to Christ yet, that doesn't mean you're not a Christian. That doesn't mean you don't have faith in Christ. That doesn't mean you don't believe in God, none of that. But I'm telling y'all, like, as soon as I got baptized, like, th the real awakening began. Like, I killed off my old flesh to be reborn again, and I had to really, like, lock in. Like, I always tell y'all, man, lock in. You got to give up something to gain something. You can't have it all. You can't have it all. So I'm telling y'all, man, if you're watching this, man, what are you willing to sacrifice? I'm going to ask you that. What are you willing to sacrifice? Because I know you watching this. I know you got a gift. God gave us all a gift. Multiple gifts. Spiritual gifts. But what are you going to give up to attain that? You going to stop smoking weed? You going to stop drinking? You going to stop partying? You going to stop being selfish and be selfless? What is it that you're going to do? Because there is something that God wants you to sacrifice to get to that next point i'm gonna tell y'all another story and then i'm gonna end this video man so the job i have right now right as y'all know i've said it multiple times I've, i was unemployed for over six months but when you have this connection with god you hear him i could hear him telling me because i was still smoking weed on the daily i was smoking weed like consistently just because i have really had nothing to do and i could hear him tell me like Hey, if you just stop smoking weed and give up the weed, because I was already done drinking, if you just give up the weed, the blessing will come. The job will come. And I, at first, I didn't want to hear it because I was being stubborn. I was being just, I was just worried about me. I wasn't trying to hear it because he wasn't coming through with the blessing that I wanted, but I had to give up something. <laughs> so I gave up smoking weed for three to four whole months. Come to find out the job that I got, I had to get drug tested for to even get the job, to get the role. After I got, you know, um, offered the role, I had to take a drug test to, like, finalize everything. And I got the role. And that's the job I have today. But what did I have to give up to get that job? Smoking weed. I had to sacrifice smoking weed. And I'm not even going to call it a sacrifice because I really did not mind giving it up. It was hard at first, maybe the first, you know, two to three weeks. But after that, man, it became seamless. But I had to sacrifice something. I had to give something up to gain something that was a thousand times better. 
if I didn't listen, if I wasn't willing to sacrifice, I'd still be probably sitting on this couch smoking weed, under where's the job? Where, where's the job that God promised he was going to give me? Even though he don't got to promise you anything, but when you know how to speak to God and you can hear God, you know, some things, I'm telling y'all, from my experience, I, God has said, if you do X, Y, Z, you will get X, Y, Z. I mean, it's just that connection that I have with him, but it's like, you really got to sacrifice to get what you want in this life. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So I'm going to leave y'all with this, man. I'm going to leave y'all with this question. What are you willing to sacrifice?